Now first things first, I want to start off this video by stating that I am recording the audio on my PlayStation 4 via Share Factory, via the fake ass DualShock 4 that Game Exchange sold me. Yeah, it's an authentic PlayStation 4 controller. All of our PlayStation 4 controllers are authentic from PlayStation and Sony themselves. Oh really? Then explain to me why the PlayStation button in the middle looks different than an authentic PlayStation 4 controller. I still have my controller, the official PlayStation 4 controller that's messed up by the way, I still have the controller, and the button in the middle looks vastly different than the button on the controller that you sold me. Also, this DualShock 4 that you sold me feels very cheap, it weighs less than the authentic DualShock 4 controller, I've weighed both controllers. The real one actually weighs just a little bit more than the one I got at Game Exchange. The fake one feels very plastic-like. It feels like if I squeeze down hard enough on it, the damn thing's gonna shatter in my hand. The audio quality is shit. I literally can put the microphone volume halfway on my headset, and it looks like I'm freaking... Or not looks like. It sounds like... I'm at a freaking rock concert with music blasting in my freaking ears. And if I put it at full volume, it literally doesn't even make any difference. It literally sounds the same compared to an authentic DualShock 4 where if you put the sound very high, it's very obviously very, very loud. If you put it in the middle, it's loud but not too loud. And then if you put it very low, y you get what I'm trying to say. The audio setting on this controller is all fucked up because it's not an authentic PlayStation 4 controller. But I wasn't going to stand there and freaking argue with them. I wasn't going to get my money back anyway. So, screw it. I'm stuck with the fake DualShock 4 controller. It'll be the last time I ever buy a controller from that fucking place. I'd rather do my business with GameStop and buy controllers there than buy a controller from Game Exchange ever again. Because Game Exchange sold me a fake ass DualShock 4. So I apologize for the audio quality in this video if it comes off really bad. If it sounds like there's like static sounds in the background, stuff like that, that's because of the audio quality on this controller, so my apologies there. Anyways, to the topic at hand, SS Sniper Wolf. Congratulations, you dumb bitch! You done fucked up! And you fucked up really bad. I mean, really, 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 really bad. To the point where I'm really honest to God surprised that there hasn't been charges pressed against you for harassment, for stalking, for doxing, for showing up to somebody's house without their permission. I I'm really surprised that there has not been, and I'm assuming those would be federal, I'm, I'm surprised that there haven't been federal charges or criminal charges placed against you for what you just did. For those of you who are not aware, SS Sniper Wolf is a content creator on YouTube that does reaction type of content. She basically reacts to stuff from TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. Basically making videos reacting to stuff that she is sent to or that she finds. She doesn't give credit to the sources. She doesn't give credit where she found the said content. She's been known numerous, numerous, numerous times to steal content from other people and then put it on her channel and react to it without giving consent, without asking for permission, without crediting her sources. 
it, it just a, a whole bunch of things that make me not care for her, not watch her. Plus, I think she's an obnoxious bitch. She always came off to me as that type of woman who can be an obnoxious bitch. So, I just chose not to watch her. And then there's Jack Films. Now, Jack Films, I've seen a few of his videos every now and again. Personally, I never really care for Jack's films. I, I don't hate the guy. I don't know him. I don't know him on a personal level. He he just uploads content on YouTube on his channel that I'm just not really into. Plus, the guy also has a side channel where he basically does videos daily making fun of SS Sniper Wolf. Which, I'm going to keep it 100 here when I say this. Dude... Get a fucking life. Go outside. Touch grass. Read a book. Watch a movie. Beat your dick. Get, well, you have a wife. Fuck your wife. I, I don't care. Just find something to do. Besides making videos every single day on a channel that you made. Specifically f for making fun of SS Sniper Wolf. That, to me, came off as very childlike. You're a grown-ass man. Grow the fuck up. You think that she's a cringeworthy content creator? Fine and dandy. You want to upload a video or two about her? Fine and dandy. Nobody's stopping you from doing that. But when you do it every single fucking day, it gets very fucking old. It's childlike. It's obnoxious. Go outside. Touch grass. Get laid, and if you have been laid, which I'm assuming you have, get laid some more. I'm sorry, real talk. It comes off as very childlike. You're a grown-ass man. Fucking act like it. But that's not what I'm here to really talk about. I'm here to talk about what Sniper Wolf did last night. That... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what Jack's film does on his channel reacting to your content does not compare to what the fuck you just did last night. So apparently SS Sniper Wolf was doing some shoot near where Jack Films lives. And she posted on her Instagram to all her followers, should she go to Jack Films house? Yes or no? And I'll provide a screenshot of said Instagram post right here. And obviously everybody voted yes because, I mean, they wanted to see if she would actually fucking do it. And lo and behold, this woman, literally about an hour later, actually posts on her Instagram Jack Film's actual residence, his house, his home address, his street address, everything. Just Post it all over the internet for everybody to see. And then once she gets called out for it, she takes it down and then makes a statement saying, I don't know how to dox. I wasn't trying to dox him. I was just trying to fuck around with him. I was just playing. I was just making a joke. And that if you're labeling me as a doxer, that's basically discrimination. Bitch, you showed up to his house. You took a picture of his house. You put it on your social media platform where you have 5 million followers. You posted his house. You posted his street address where he lives to where people can look this up on Google Maps, find out where he lives and possibly go to his house and do God knows what to him and his wife. Now, him and his wife are living in fear of their lives because they don't know if somebody's going to come by trying to do a shooting, a robbery. Somebody could break into their house and assault them. Who knows what could happen? The matter of the fact is, yes, you stupid bitch, that is doxing because you posted their house 
where they live on social media without their discretion, without their approval. You showed up to their house in the middle of the night. In the middle of the freaking night. I would have loved if you would have went up to his doorstep and knocked on his door and he answered. Probably would have answered with a gun. You never know. Some random stranger comes knocking on my door. Now, granted, I don't own a gun. I used to have a gun, but I don't anymore. I sold my gun quite some time ago. They were my dad's guns. I don't have any gun in my possession. But I got two baseball bats. I got kitchen knives. I got a police baton. I got pepper spray. I got brass knuckles. I got my two feet and I got my two fists. I'm not saying I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm Mike Tyson. I'm not saying I'm John claude Van Damme from freaking Bloodsport. But if some stranger comes to my house to try to start beef with me, I'm going to defend myself. I'm just saying, I'm going to fucking defend myself. If I don't know you and you're coming to my doorstep trying to harass me and my family, the police better get to you before I get to you. And trust me, the police will be called. I'm just going to say that you better hope the police get to you before I get to you. You ought to be very lucky that he's not pressing charges against you. He probably can't because you took the post down off of Instagram. You took it down. So even if he tried to press charges against you, it probably is going to go for naught. But then again, I don't know. Maybe he could find a loophole around it. Maybe he could find a way around it to where he actually could press charges on you. He could fucking take you to court. I don't care that you're one of the biggest content creators on YouTube and that you probably have millions of dollars in your bank account. What you did is illegal. And you can face prison time. Fuck jail time. Prison time. For what you just did. All because, oh, he harasses me. He's been harassing me for years, making videos about me, making fun of me, blah, 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 blah. That still doesn't give you the excuse to go to his fucking house posting his address on the internet for every single one of your followers to see so that way they could try fucking with him they could try going to his house there are some crazy sons of bitches on the internet these people could look up his phone number they could get access to his phone number i wouldn't be surprised if you got his freaking phone number somehow and you post that online next for everybody to call him or unless somebody is able to get the phone number themselves somehow, then they're going to be calling his residence every fucking day, every fucking hour of every fucking minute of every fucking second, harassing him and his wife, harassing his family. Not only are you putting him and his wife at risk, you're putting his friends at risk, and you're putting his family members at risk who show up to his house. You're putting them at risk as well. One of his family members could show up, you know, just to go check on him. They go to get out of the car, and all of a sudden, some crazy freaking sniper wolf fan comes out of nowhere and freaking assaults them. There's some crazy people out here in this world. Oh, he makes fun of me online. He posts videos about me all the time. He made a channel about me. And yes... While I will say that that was very childlike behavior of him to do, that was very kiddish and very fucking stupid of him to do, like, dude, grow the fuck up, go outside, touch grass, find a different hobby, because this is clearly fucking stupid. This is really childlike behavior from you. I don't give a shit that she's cringeworthy. I don't care if she's funny to make fun of and funny to laugh at. When you post videos about her every single day, it does get annoying and it does get tiresome from my perspective. It's annoying, it's tiresome, and it comes off as very kiddish. But even still, even still, Sniper Wolf, that does not give you the permission to go to the guy's house, to actually go to his house in the middle of the night, posting 
his house and his address where he lives to all your followers on social media and then quickly take it down when you realize oh shit I could be facing federal fucking charges I could be facing criminal charges for this and then you want to come out and and be the victim you want to call him out you want to say that he's the problem that he's the bully that what you did wasn't illegal that what you did wasn't doxing you posted his house on social media without his permission you dumb bitch you're putting yourself by the way at risk of losing not only your instagram account but your youtube account because in instagram terms of service in youtube terms of service doxing content creators without their permission going to their houses and trying to confront them or assault them harm them or even try to kill them is illegal and is considered criminal activity which you'll face criminal charges again let me repeat that criminal charges which will result in prison time or are you not using your fucking head meat you have a problem with him making fun of you then either one or two things one you confront him in a professional manner maybe make a video on your youtube channel calling him out maybe emailing the guy just try to get in contact with him and say hey dude this is getting pretty childish this is getting pretty stupid can we talk this out if you want me to change for the better fine i'll change for the better i'll give credit to the creators i'll give credit to the content creators i'll start doing things in a more appropriate professional manner if you want to continue making fun of me whatever fine and dandy i could just ignore you or i could just tell you to fuck off or i or there's option number two don't even confront him in the first place it act like he doesn't exist ignore him to you he's giving you free publicity i mean if he wants to make videos about you every single day on a side channel making fun of you technically that's free publicity Good publicity, bad publicity, it's still publicity. He's still talking about you. You could have went about this in a professional, respectful type of way. Or you could have chose to ignore him, or you could have chose them to you could have chose to tell him to fuck off. Technically you have three options. Confront him in a professional manner, ignore him, or tell him to fuck off. But apparently, apparently, you decided to go with option number four. You decided to make an, an, another option for yourself. Oh, you damn sure confronted him all right by going to his fucking house. In the dead of the night, while him and his wife were probably sleeping. You ought to be lucky that he didn't see you, that he wasn't awake, that he didn't see you. Because I guarantee you, he would have opened the door and fucking confronted you. And you would not like the way he would have confronted you. Dude probably would have opened... You don't know if he has a gun. What if he opened the door and had the gun pointed at your head? Yeah, he'll probably get in trouble for pointing a gun at you. But you came on his property. You're a complete stranger. You came on his property trying to harass him, trying to stalk him, trying to dox him. So he has every right to defend himself and his family. If I was in his shoes, I would have done the same damn thing. Even if I do know you, you're still a complete stranger. Do not show up to my property. Do not show up to my house. Do not try to confront me or my family on our property. Because actions will happen and you're not going to like the actions that are going to happen either one or three things are going to happen option one you're going to go to jail or prison most likely prison option number two you're going to end up in a hospital because i'm going to beat the shit out of you 
Option number three, and the worst option of all, you fucking die. Again, I'm not saying I'm freaking Mike Tyson or John Claude Van Damme or Arnold Schwarzenegger or freaking Sylvester Stallone. I'm not fucking Rambo. I'm not going to come out with a fucking minigun shooting you. Again, I don't have a gun. But if I was Jack Films in his situation, if you come on my property one more time, if you come on my property one more time, I'm going to confront you, and you better fucking hope that the cops get to you before I do. Sitting here going to somebody's house and doxing where they live because, oh, he uploads videos about me every day. He harasses me. He makes fun of me. Grow the fuck up. You're one of the biggest reaction channels. I think you're the number one female reaction channel on YouTube. You make millions of dollars every single year. You probably make way more fucking money than he does. Why do you care to listen to his opinion? Why do you even care about him? If he's uploading videos about you daily, like I said, good publicity, bad publicity, he's still giving you publicity. You could choose to fucking laugh at him. You could react to one of his videos making fun of you, laughing at him, saying that he's fucking pathetic, that he's a, that he's a, you know, uh, that he's basically acting like a fucking child, making videos about you 24-7. Shit. I dealt with that at one time. On my old YouTube channel, not this one, but my very first YouTube channel, I had a situation where I had somebody harassing the living shit out of me, uploading videos about me every fucking day. Every fucking day they were uploading videos about me. And honestly, I'm going to keep it real with you. When I see shit like that, I think to myself, do you really hate me? Are you are you obsessed with me? Or is there something that you're not telling everybody? Are you fucking gay? Hey, I don't have a problem with LGBTQ, but I'm just gonna keep it real with you. I'm not into I, I I'm not into I'm not into men, okay? I like women, I like boobs, I like I like the V, the, the V word. I like that, okay? I'm not into, I'm not into freaking melons and the banana. I'm trying not to get myself in trouble here with YouTube. I'm probably going to get in trouble with YouTube anyways, but you get what I'm trying to say. I'm not into that stuff. I'm into women. But the way that, that individual was uploading videos about me over and over and over again I honestly started to question if they were gay for me I mean holy shit and they were upload not just daily but they were uploading like four to five to six to seven to eight sometimes ten videos in one day on me like motherfucker do you have a life do you not go outside can you not find a, a different fucking hobby? Like, are you that obsessed with me? Do you really hate me that much? Are you obsessed with me? Are you gay for me? What is it? Because, quite honestly, this is fucking weird. This is very childlike. It's disturbing. And, quite honestly, it... It comes off to me like you just have nothing better to do in your life. Like, you can't go outside and find, I don't know, a movie to go watch at the movie theaters, watch a movie at home, read a book, play a game, watch porn. I mean, fuck, find something else to do. But I've been through shit like that before. I know what it's like. It's fucking annoying. 
I'm not going to defend Jack Films on that part, because that type of stuff, I'm going to be honest with you, that's very fucking childlike, it's very fucking stupid. Get a life. Get a fucking life. As for you, Sniper Wolf, get the fuck off Instagram, get the fuck off YouTube, get the fuck off social media, and just go the fuck away. Because trust me, there's gonna come a day where you're probably gonna do this again. Most likely, you'll probably do it again to somebody, and that person's probably gonna confront you, and whatever happens, happens. Either you're gonna go to jail, you're gonna get your ass beat, or you're gonna get yourself killed. One of those three options. If you're tired of somebody talking shit about you, then confront them in a professional manner, ignore them, or just tell them to fuck off and move on with your day. I've always said, that if anybody has any criticism of me, offer it up. Let me know. If you have criticism of me, constructive criticism, or just criticism overall, offer it up. If you don't like me, then just don't fucking watch me. Find something else to do. There's plenty of other content creators on this platform. Go watch one of them. If you don't like some of the language I use, Oh well, I don't fucking care. I'm very vulgar on my channel. I have a sailor mouth. That's not going to change. Do I swear in public? Do I swear IRL? Not as much as I do on YouTube, but I do swear every now and again. I know some people are going to say, oh... Swearing is bad. Well, sometimes you have to swear to get your damn point across. I mean, good grief. It's not like Jack's Films with making videos harassing your family, doxing your family, threatening your family, threatening you, threatening your friends. It wasn't like he was doing any of that. The man was just doing videos you know, making fun of you on a daily basis, by the way, which again was really fucking stupid and childlike of him. And you decided to go to the extreme route by going to his house, by doxing where he lives, by putting him and his wife and his family and friends, if they were to come over, you put all of them at risk. Poor guy is probably going to have to move now. Do you know how much money it costs to move? Quite a damn bit. Quite a bit. This whole situation is ridiculous. It's stupid. It's childlike. It's pathetic. It's kiddish. And it's scary. I mean, the fact that something like this could result in something like that. That's downright scary. Anybody ever has beef with me? Either one come about it in a professional manner number two you could ignore me and just find something else to do and I also have the options of whether I could respond to you ignore you or tell you to fuck off I have either one of those three options I'm not gonna go to your freaking house and dox your information on the internet I'm not gonna you know, I'm not going to do anything like that. Because then I'm putting myself at risk of possibly facing jail time over something so fucking childish. This is so fucking stupid. It's pathetic. We're getting to a point on YouTube to where when content creators have beef with each other, 
Now we're getting to a point where instead of going about it in a professional manner, going about it in a manner of ignoring people, or just telling these people to F off, now we're getting to the point where we're actually going to their fucking houses and trying to confront them. Remember the Boogie 2988 situation a few years ago where somebody showed up at his house and he answered the door shooting a gun at them? Do you remember that? Now Boogie 2988, that's a that's a story of itself. I, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail about that guy because that dude has been nothing but a fucking train wreck as of late. But somebody showed up to his house and try to confront him and threaten him and his family and friends and he comes out and shoots a gun at him now he f faced charges for it because he fired a gun at them but they also faced charges too for coming onto his property and he had every right to defend himself sniper what if let's just say hypothetically what if you went to confront Jack Films at his house and he answered the door with a gun and shot you dead on the spot? No one would know that you're dead until it makes mainstream news. Eventually, it would leak out that you're dead. And when we find out why you're dead, we're going to look at you and think to ourselves, what a fucking idiot. You deserve to get shot. Ridiculous, man. <sighs> this is going to be the first and only time I make a discussion video about this. And, and by the way, I know some people are going to say, Oh, well, you've made discussion videos about content creators too. Yes. I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie. I have. But, I don't go and sit there and freaking harass them and stalk them and make videos about them 24-7 like some people do. I make one video talking about them, and then I keep it moving. I make one video, and I move on with my life. I made one video about the EDP situation. I could have made multiple videos about EDP. I did one video, and that's it. I did one video about Bebe, and moved on. I've done three videos on Ninja Sanji, which I regret doing that now. I should have just kept it to one video. Or, no, actually, was it three? It might have been two. It might have been two. I, I could have sworn I did three, but I think I did two videos on Ninja Sanji. Whatever. I did two videos on Ninja Sanji. Haven't done a video talking about them in full since then. Because I don't care to. I don't got the time to sit here and upload video after video after video after video after video after video of something or somebody that I don't fucking care about. If I want to talk about it, if I, am, if I feel the need to talk about it, if I'm in the mood to talk about it, I'll do one video and then I'll move on with the rest of my day. Like I'm doing here with this discussion video. This is going to be the first and only time I discuss this. If something really fucking crazy happens between these two, I'll hear about it, but I'm not really going to talk about it here on my channel. I'm going to back this video up over to my Rumble because I don't know if this video is going to get me in trouble with YouTube. It might. It just might. So I'll, I'm going to back this up to my Rumble. Link down below in the description to my Rumble channel if you want to go check that out. This is Ed Runner Gaming HD signing out. Peace. Stay safe. Have a great rest of the day or night. I'm going to go freaking record a Let's Play or something. I'm going to find something to do. I might just freaking, I don't know, watch a movie or something tonight. I really need to start watching anime again. I got a... a um, I got a perk from Game Pass that supposedly gives me 75 days of Crunchyroll Premium literally at no extra charge, literally for free. I might use that. Then again, I don't know because I don't personally really care about Crunchyroll. 
if I want to watch anime, I got my sources. I, I, I got places where I can watch anime. I'm not going to say where, but I have my places to watch stuff if I care to watch said stuff. I don't know. I'll find something to do. But I know one thing that I'm not going to do. I'm not going to be talking about this ever again. Because this, this is very childlike. Two Jack films. Grow the fuck up. Pr you want to press charges against her? Press charges against her. Get her locked up. Get her thrown off of YouTube. And then move on with your life. To SS Sniper Wolf. Grow the fuck up. Admit that what you did was wrong. Admit that what you did was doxing. Stop trying to play the fucking victim card. Grow the fuck up. Stop stealing content from other creators. And how about you actually do something on your channel other than react to people's content 24-7? How about you actually do something fucking creative once in your damn life? Or is it that fucking hard to pull off? Is it that hard? Is it really that fucking hard? Is it that hard to find something to do on your channel besides reaction content over and over and over and over again 24-7? To both of you, I'm going to keep it real, get a life. You're grown-ass individuals. Fucking act like one. I'm out. Bye. They will find through their flames, flames that run down through my veins. I will make the city burn when I plan to return. Trying so hard to be free to make you see what I see. Hold on to your.